Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'm going to make my predictions about uh, the standings of Premier League teams. This is the current situation in uh, the table. Uh, Liverpool leads, uh, but Aston Villa, City, United and Burnley have won a game uh, in minus. Burnley, Sheffield, West Brom are on the relegation standings, uh, relegation places um, followed by Fulham and Brighton with 5 and, po and 4 points. Uh, let's uh, start with uh, number 20, uh, the last in uh, my prediction uh, will finish uh, West Brom is West Bromwich Albion. I think they have a poor team, a poor gameplay. Uh, they lost uh, in the last game against Fulham. Um, tight game with Brighton. Uh, been beaten by Southampton. Good game at home with Chelsea, but I don't think uh, uh, these guys will be uh, better than uh, uh, Sheffield or Burnley. Burnley, though, only one draw so far. So, uh, last uh, for me, uh, last in the Premier League standings will be West Bromwich Albion. Let's move forward to number 19. Uh, for me, it will be Burnley. Um, I think uh, they won't make some difference, some big, some big difference uh, till the end of the season. Sheffield uh, will be above them. They play uh, better, I believe, than uh, Burnley. Let's see how they went so far. Uh, beaten by Tottenham, Chelsea, nil nil at West Bromwich. Very poor games, been beaten all over the place. So this is the the 19th place for me. They draw with the 20th place. As far as I'm concerned, they will finish 19th. Let's move to the 18th place. For me, it will be Fulham. Fulham, uh, don't think they will uh, finish above Brighton. I love the Brighton, the Brighton team because they are playing an offensive game. Though they have three losses so far, I think uh, they will finish above uh, Fulham. Uh, also, uh, uh, Sheffield will be there uh, to fight with uh, Fulham and West Bromwich and Burnley. Uh, but this is the 18th place for me, Fulham. Let's move to uh, the 17th place, Sheffield United. Who else <laughs> can be on 17th? I think also Brighton is more uh, has more pleasant gameplay than, they, than uh, Sheffield. They uh, lost with big teams, but tight. Uh, only one goal difference from City, uh, Liverpool one goal difference, bit and Sheffield Arsenal one goal difference, Leeds one goal difference, but still they uh, they lost games. Only one one with Fulham. Uh, they will be tough. Maybe they will make some points with uh, the bottom teams like. Uh, full uh, full life full life. West Brom or Burnley, maybe with West Ham, Crystal Palace. Um, who knows? We will see. But I don't think they will finish uh, in a good place uh, more than uh, 17th this season. For me, the 16th place goes to Brighton. More offensive game plan than the other than the other teams. Uh, despite the fact they lost. Uh, Three games, I believe Brighton has the power to uh, avoid the relegation. They can barely be beaten, but by um, Tottenham 2-1. Seen the game, not so much fun, but uh, Brighton have uh, have so some uh, some firepower there. Maybe with a bit of luck, uh, they managed to make a draw, but Gareth Bale scored there. 
he had to, he is back and uh, he plays uh, uh, good and he's motivated. So uh, Brighton for me uh, is there, is there with Palace, you see, 1-1, uh, uh, still uh, they had a red card and finished uh, in a draw with uh, Palace. Big of a headache for Everton also. Uh, Beaten Newcastle. Yeah. For me, it's uh, in equal side with uh, Sheffield, uh, Fulham. Um, there with uh, Crystal Palace and uh, Newcastle. But uh, I think uh, Palace is the 15th, uh, gets the 15th place because of their firepower, Zaha and Batsuai are there and uh, we managed to make some points for Palace uh, they had some points already they beat them Fulham, uh, Fulham uh, Wolves uh, made three points home with them 1-1 one, one with Brighton Everton beat them home with 2-1 uh, big loss against Chelsea Beaten Southampton, though Southampton plays well, so it's there, it's there with uh, this medium thing, medium bottom, uh, medium teams uh, and from 11 and uh, 15 place. I believe uh, uh, this is in this in the third quarter of the table. Uh, next uh, on 14th, uh, I think uh, I will go with. Uh, Newcastle United, I like this team, I used to love them when I was a kid, uh, but um, now they struggle to finish in the middle table, the middle of the table, um, they had some points this season, only one loss, interesting gameplay for them, defensive obviously, but managed to get some points, only one loss from Manchester United at home. But uh, though uh, they beaten Everton, made a point in Wolves, Wolves who play offensively and played offensively in that game. 1-1 um, at Newcastle, big points, but in, uh, in this, uh, uh, this is in September, right? Yeah, lost from Brighton, let's see. No, seven games, yeah. They had some losses too. So, let's see who is going to be uh, on the 13th place. I think Villa, though they had also, uh, they are currently in 8th place. Did some beautiful points here with Leicester. Uh, with Liverpool and they smashed them with 7-2 uh, with Fulham, yeah, pretty pretty decent uh, decent points. They then they uh, started to lost home with uh, Leeds and Southampton and uh, the true face of Aston Villa is going to be revealed soon because this is not a team that can uh, manage to have. Uh, Five or six wins in a row. This is simply doesn't have the they simply doesn't have the the players to do that. So uh, for me, thir 13 places is, uh, is going to be uh, Aston Villa. Next, uh, West Ham. I love this West Ham team. They play super super good football, offensive um, football. Uh, where is uh, West Ham? West Ham now is 14th currently. Uh, and I predict them to be 12th, 12th place, so uh, I'm a bit optimistic when it comes to West Ham because uh, they played well, they barely lost with uh, Liverpool, 3-3 with Tottenham, come on guys, beaten Leicester, 1-1 with City, good games, they did good games, beaten Wolves with 4-0. Uh, despite of that, uh, think about uh, the games that are going to come because they are going to play against uh, uh, some of the bottom teams here and they will make points with them. Uh, 
next in on the in the eleven place will uh, I will place Leeds United, my favorite team from uh, United Kingdom. I think they have the power to be there on the medium on the top ten, top fifty, obviously. But in, the, in their twelfth, eleven or tenth place. They started super super good, but uh, also like Aston Villa, they uh, they are beginning to see their true faces. They are uh, they can't uh, uh, play well in the long term. Uh, they can't make uh, six wins in a row. Uh, they can be constant in their uh, games and uh, winning points game after game. So um, this is uh, my this is why I am going to place Leeds in the 11th place. So let's start our top 10 Premier League uh, teams. Uh, number 10 on the 10th place, I think I will place Wolves. Good team. Uh, love the way how uh, they attack. Uh, they can make the trouble to big teams like uh, Liverpool or City. Um, they play uh, an interesting uh, formation. Uh, I love the I love Jimenez and uh, Neto, um, many uh, and Adama Traore also, <laughs> the the Spanish guys. So Rui Patricio in in goal. They have a good team to to be in top ten. So. For me, uh, Wolves uh, is on 10th place. On the 9th place, I'm going to put uh, Southampton just because uh, currently they are in 5th, but just because they, I love the way they play. But uh, uh, I think uh, many teams uh, right now are. Uh, like Arsenal or UCT or uh, United are going to come back also Chelsea are going to come back and uh, make uh, points also Southampton will start to uh, lose some games already started uh, making some some mistakes with uh, come on this last four last three last four games last five games only points so <laughs> Nice team. Still, I don't know how they came in because he, they lost uh, to Palace, so they are weak to, to weaker teams. Uh, they've been smashed home by Tottenham 5 2. Currently, they are going through a good form, but played with Aston Villa, Everton struggled with some absences. Uh, good game with Chelsea. Beaten Southampton, Southampton beaten uh, West Bromwich. West Bromwich, it's going to be on the bottom of the table, so this is not that great. Also, Burnley, they had some easy uh, wins and some opportunities here and there, and that's why I think uh, they will finish only on ninth this season. For me, number eight, it's United, guys. I know they have uh, they have uh, lots of fans uh, out there. Lots of you guys are going to uh, say some bad words <laughs> because I'm, I'm placing United only on this, but uh, they are on 15th right now, with seven points. Let's add uh, another three, ten, ten points. So. It's not that far, only six points, but I don't think they will manage to um, beat other teams uh, in the road to the fifth, uh, four, the first fifth, five games, first five teams. So I don't think they will be, they will catch any Europa League uh, places, maybe six, seven, but it will be tight. I don't know why, but they are concentrated or uh, on Champions League right now. 
they are playing well there, but in uh, Premier League, man, they are disasters right now. So let's go to the seventh place. Seventh place and place Arsenal Londra. Another team of uh, tradition here. I think uh, they will manage to be in top seven over United. Uh, maybe the same amount of of points with five points maximum between them because uh, Arsenal and the United have um, oscillations they don't really know I don't know why but uh, Man United it's always in transition I, they don't find their stability Arsenal is going to is, is going to big changes in the club uh, with Arteta so I don't really like the defense there the attack is, is great but the defense and the midfield I don't really like them how they, how they play how they uh, their, their chemistry uh, they concede goals so for me um, uh, Leicester for example is going to be six the yeah, Leicester is going to be above those two traditions team Arsenal and United Leicester City uh, currently are second in Premier League uh, Vardy is playing one of the best football of his life right now he scores goals uh, and they uh, they have some big results also in the in uh, Europa League so they beat an Arsenal in their direct match uh, beaten Manchester City, Leeds United which uh, are playing good football they are, they are, they are good right now and I think uh, maybe uh, why not struggle to finish in top 5 right uh, but my top 5 uh, goes to other teams for me Everton this season will be in top 5 just because I love their transfer windows their transfer window uh, I love how Carlo Ancelotti uh, motivates the team how he knows to put the key players where they need to feel free to play like James Rodriguez or James Rodriguez um, but uh, the last two matches was a bit of a disaster maybe because of uh, some absences but Alan and Ducure uh, incredible uh, midfielder Sigurdsson there uh, uh, Calvert-Lewin amazing this season James Rodriguez so Yaimina, Kane, Luka Dini that missed uh, being missed in uh, Newcastle game so I think uh, they will be in top 5 this season above um, Arsenal or Manchester United for me the fourth place goes to Chelsea Chelsea I love the youth there I love Lampard love him as a player um, I love how he motivates them he has a fresh method of uh, uh, motivation uh, they're doing great in uh, Champions League also Drew with some good teams, Southampton and uh, United, but uh, and also with some weak ones uh, with uh, West Brom, but managed to uh, get some extra points. So for me, uh, Manchester Chelsea, I think will uh, get the fourth place. Uh, on the third place goes to. Manchester City guys, I think uh, City will uh, not be in top 2 this season and uh, because because of the, the lack of the, uh, the players they have lots of players but they are injured they are injured they uh, like Aguero and uh, uh, Jesus their power, their far power are Kind of missing right now uh, defending uh, 
Laporte is good, but Walker, it's when he goes uh, in the attack, uh, he, it, it's um, uh, Manchester City get caught on the counter. So I don't really like the, the defense there. They had some difficult results with uh, with, it, with uh, West Ham. Uh, I can barely beat in Sheffield. Also Arsenal with one nil drew at Leeds. Kind of poor. Good in Champions League, but uh, I don't think uh, they will manage to be um, in the second place or, or win the title. Just because, uh, for example, Tottenham are just pragmatic and uh, they are making points lots of lots of points uh, also they they, uh, they uh, got bail they got uh, an amazing uh, um, power uh, with son uh, lamella uh, and uh, dele ali man gareth bale they have lots of lots of good good uh, guys there also Mourinho, he knows how to get results that's the uh, the secret of that guy i don't like him as a coach i don't like how his team plays just because um, after they uh, get a lead they uh, defend so much and try to preserve that result that's why i don't like him and sometimes uh, he he wins games only by doing this just preserving the game that's why i think this season um, they will finish above uh, city so for me the champions defending champions will be liverpool no words about it i think these guys are the best right now uh, liverpool and bayern munich these two teams are the best right now in Europe, hands down. Though I'm a Real Madrid fan, these guys are the best right now. Despite the fact they miss uh, Van Dijk, but I don't think this will be a problem for them this season. This is this was it for this video, guys. Uh, let me know what are your predictions, your top five at least your top five teams from premier league also if you have enough time uh, please leave your top uh, your prediction for the entire premier league uh, places uh, please uh, like this video make that blue uh, subscribe to this channel for more predictions videos like this one guys uh, have fun stay safe and take care bye